G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now today I was looking through my mould drawer and I found this little trinket dish mould and uh, I don't know that I've ever used it. So today's the day. It's got a little lip around it and I thought I'd do a little bloom in it. Now because these areas down here are lower, I thought I might put some little, just a few little silver stones in there. Uh, I think I'll just pop some in my cup there and then I can pinch this and then just sort of try and get a few down there. I don't want a lot. I don't want it to be like totally saturated. I just wanted a few little, few little silver stones in there and then um, probably put a few little stones in the centre of my bloom today as well. I'm going to do, do three little blooms. Been a while since I've done multiple blooms. You may remember me doing them oh, a while ago, <laughs> maybe even a year ago. I can't remember. It feels like forever. Um, and I did a, I think I did coasters, and I did like five different blooms on a coaster. Yeah, a few different things, but I haven't done them for a while. So, like I said, today's the day. I just sort of, oh gosh, jumping everywhere. Spread them out a little bit so they're not in a in a clump. I'm just doing this while I'm waiting for my resin to get to about 30 degrees. I'm using the Let's Resin 4 Hour Fast Cure. Uh, I really really like it for the uh, for the blooms. I did, after I finished stirring it for four minutes, I did pop it in my vacuum chamber just once. It's pretty low bubble. Low bubble resin which is great. And it's thick. It's a one-to-one, -one, so it's good for blooms. Let's see how it's going. Oops, I've just changed it to Fahrenheit. So I wanted to get to about 30 because it's already a thick resin. I've been experimenting and um, 30 works, 33 works. 35 degrees, if you're doing a big piece, 35 degrees doesn't really close up in the middle because it's too warm and too thick already. So if you're doing a big piece, I found it just does not close up in the middle and have to suck the center out. But because it's so thick, I've been finding that 30 degrees works. Only on 27, 28. So we just need a couple more minutes. I'll just leave that to the side there for a minute. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'll, I'll talk to you while that's warming a little bit. Um, I haven't decided what colour background I want to do yet, but I'm going to use these octopus fluids. They're alcohol inks. I like to use alcohol inks when I'm doing the 3D blooms because they spread nicely. If you're using um, like a resin ink, it just sort of does this tiny little blob, um, little dot, and it doesn't spread like the alcohol inks do, and, and I want it to spread. So I've got uh, plum and blueberry. I'm going to do plum in the middle and blueberry for the outside. But because it's only such a little tiny mold, I'm going to do one in the middle, one on the end, one on the end there. I'm thinking this time, because normally how you do one dot and then you do others around, that's not really going to work. So I thought I would do a drop of blueberry, let it spread and then do a drop of plum in the center. So just three like that and, and we'll see how they go. Um, and then my white is going to be my bloom. Um, because it's such a, a little mold, I'm only really going to need, say, 10 grams with one drop. It says on the back here, uh, add one drop of bloom pigment paste to every 10 grams of resin. Mix well. So we'll just do one, one little drop. If you do a big drop, like if you twist the nozzle fully, you'll get a big drop. Uh, like give it two twists. Um, it's a little bit too opaque for what I like. Some people like to do it that opaque. I prefer just to twist the nozzle once, like halfway, um, and get a small drop. It's taken a while to heat up. It's cold in the studio this morning. Okay, I'll put you on pause. I'll come back to you in about two minutes. All right, let's have another little look here. 29.6, 29.9, and we're at 30 and climbing. So at Fahrenheit, 
um, 86. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to clean off my little probe here with some isopropyl. Don't want it sticking together. Hey, turn it off. Alrighty. So uh, I'm going to pour this in here. Now, I, like I said, I've never used this mold, so I'm not quite sure how much it's going to need. Uh, I did mix up 75 grams of A and 67 grams of part, of part B, so I've got um, 142. I'm just going to put 10 grams in there while that's spreading. You can see how thick it is. It's taking a long time to spread to the sides. Okay. I've got 11, but that'll be fine. <laughs> I'll just put a little bit more in there. You've got to make sure that you've got your resin deep enough for your petals to actually spread. Uh, if it's too thin, you know, they're not going to spread. So, but I do need to leave a little, a little bit of space for my background. I'm thinking like a black, silver, kind of dragon scale-ish type of um, background. Got a little bit more here so I might as well use it like I said I only need a little bit for my background I didn't think it would take this much actually wow I'm surprised <laughs> pretty much going to use all of that all right so there we go let's let that sit for a minute get those little bubbles out all right so with the bloom um, as I was saying you could twist it halfway like that or if you wanted to do a full twist, you can do another twist, and that's a full twist. But um, I'll close it again. And uh, I'm just going to open it just halfway. And give it a squeeze. Let the drop come to the, to the tip there, depending on how much you've got left. Don't squeeze too hard because you don't want a whole heap to go in. I just wait for the, the drop to come to the end there, and then I let go. And I just let it drip in on its own. Okay, that's that's how I do it because I don't want too much. It's very strong. It's powerful stuff, you guys. You don't want a lot. You can have a look at it, and if you want a tiny bit more, you could put a little bit on a toothpick and add a bit more. But just add it slowly. Otherwise, it's um your bloom's going to be quite opaque, and that's fine. You know, if that's what you like, if you want them really opaque and chunky looking petals, then by all means do that. But I like my petals to be a little bit more sort of translucent, a little bit more sort of ethereal looking. Perfect, perfect. Now I'm going to drop this. Now I want the blue on the outside, so we'll just do this. See how that's going to spread. I wonder if I need two. Mm, no, probably not. Probably not. Let's see how it spreads really well. Actually, I haven't shooken this one yet. Give it a shake. I wanted the two colours to be complementary to each other. A little bit of the purple plum just in the middle. Yeah, see, that's perfect. <laughs> They, they spread. They're really good. Um, I will link the um, Homes and Living down in my description. There's also a coupon code if you want to get yourself some octopus fluids. They also do the resin inks that I use, um, you know, for my dragon flowers and that sort of thing. Now, don't pour your white yet. See how it's still moving? If you pour your white too early, uh, your petals will be all misshaped because they'll be continue to move when the alcohol ink moves so wait until it's stopped moving don't torch the alcohol ink obviously it's alcohol <laughs> it's gonna be it's flammable so don't torch it I'm just getting my little bubbles out there it's even that's probably a little bit heavy but no <laughs> it'll be fine it'll be fine it was a tiny drop one tiny drop in 10 grams uh, but yeah don't need a lot I only need enough for three little Three little flowers but if you're not sure how much to make up you know you could do 20 grams with two tiny little drops um, yeah just so that you you know 
if you think you're going to run out. It's only 10 grams of resin. You don't have to worry about it too much. You just mix yourself up an extra 10 grams to be on the safe side. How's it looking? Let's clean my stick while we're waiting. I think it's stopped moving now. And of course it will all move back into the centre as well. Alright, let's get this organised. A little bit of paper towel, push that down. This is just one of the small piping bags and I've cut about that much off the top. So I don't like it to be too big. I can feel that my little bag's warm. It's not hot, it's just warm. And do a little... About there. I won't do it over my mould just in case it <laughs> falls in. But you can check it. Just do a little line like that. And it's a bit small. Take a bit more off. Because the resin's quite a thick resin, it's a one-to-one -one resin, it comes out in a thicker line anyway. And like you can hold it like that and it's not going to drip out. <laughs> so some resins are really, really thin um, and they do just drip everywhere. Okay, here we go. Let's start in the middle. I'm not used to doing such little, little baby blooms. Okay, one. And then two. How many lines did I do on the other one? I think about that many. <laughs> oh gosh. You want to make them a little bit bigger than what you actually need because like I said, the, the resin is going to move in. I need to push that up properly. Uh, up properly. There we go. You can see how the bloom pigment paste is spreading already. It's just magic stuff, if I do say so myself. You can see how much it's spreading already. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. The one's only got three. One, two, three, four. Has it? One, two, three, four. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how many I've got there. I can't. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, th oh, I don't know. Anyway, there we go. See, I didn't even use it all. It's it's there. All right, so um, now I'll just, I can see a couple of little bubbles. So do that little quick torch. Okay, so now um, I'm just going to do the, just going to do the clock face on all of them. I'm not worried about wiping my stick uh, I kind of like the um, the bit of color to come through all right now I'm going to just go out now it's up to you how many you know you want to do you you might decide oh I really want to do more petals like more pulling in for the stick and again, it's totally up to you how many you want to do. You might, you know, want to do more. But I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm give it a little swirl in the middle. Just so it kind of looks uniform. Probably should have done more, more pull-throughs. It's a bit late now, isn't it? <laughs> it's a bit late now. Oh, gosh. I think it'll still be pretty. Um, now, um, I need a tiny little spoon. Maybe I can use this again. Because I want to put a... F oh, maybe not. Maybe I can just use this. Oh, I kind of feel as if I want more, more petals going on. It's probably... No, nah, I'll just leave it. It's a bit late. Now, I'm just going to put a few of these, oh gosh, in the centre. It's always tricky, oh no, it's always tricky when you're trying to get them onto a, on a stick because they're never going to go in properly. Oh, 
I'm gonna have to get these ones out. Drop two. Drop two by mistake. Get out. Did I get it? Nope. There it is. Making a mess of my petal. Making a mess. Right, I'm gonna I'm just gonna do this. I kind of feel as if I need to do a few more little petals. a few I don't know just feel as if I should it's all gonna change though all gonna change all right there we go <laughs> that'll do okay now I'm just got to push this in into the center hopefully the resins Thin enough to let that silver drop through. You can see how sticky and thick it's getting already. And then I'll just do, probably should have done my swirl after I dropped my stone in, eh? Because I just messed up the swirl. All right, there we go. Okay, that's it. <laughs> oh, I'm not used to doing such little tiny fiddly things. <laughs> Never mind. All right, so that's it. Last little torch. And uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Hopefully it turns out pretty. Uh, and then I'm going to do, um, do a background. Mm, maybe some black and some, some of this micro pearl. I, I have a trouble, I have trouble getting silver. I've got, all the silvers I've got are like a metal silver and they're like um, they're really heavy it's not like a silver mica powder so i'll have to have a look and see what i've got all right see you soon right oh i'm back look how much this has changed and moved i just i hope i've done it opaque enough i can't really see much in the way of white but um yeah it's really spread nicely um and oh gosh i was trying to decide so I'm going to pop you back up here. I'm just trying to decide what colour to do the background. Because usually when you do um, a 3D bloom, you tend to need a really dark background. So people use navy, dark burgundy, you know, deep dark green, anything dark like that. Um, otherwise, if it's too light, you can't see your white bloom, especially when they really pale like this. So... And I kind of wanted to pick up the purple in there, but I can't have a purple background, otherwise you're not going to see the, the petals. So it's a, it's a bit of a difficult one. And I didn't want to do just black because I've done just black. So this is what I've come up with. Uh, I've mixed up some Platinum 360 Plus. I did 75 grams of A and 32 grams of B. So about 100 grams-ish. It's got to open the lid away from your resin because the little dry bits can fall in. Now, this is the Onyx Resin Ink by Octopus. It's going to give it a squirt. So I want a black. Hopefully it will be black. Sometimes the resin inks can be more like a, a bluey, grey, it kind of looks a bit sort of navy on the side of the cup, but look, I don't mind because I've got like a purpley blue in there anyway. Oh, look at that. So that was a squirt. <laughs> I think that's enough. So basically I'm going to do a resin ink and I'm going to do a mica powder and try and get some striations on the back as well. I haven't got a lot of room left to play with. Maybe four, four, four millimetres. So that's my black. And I've got a little bit more of the black, um, more of the resin in that cup than this cup. Now this one, I thought this might look nice. See, it's um, Pretentious by um, Piggies. This is a stuck-up pig. It's called Pretentious, and it kind of changes colour. Purpley, 
greeny. And I, anyway, I thought that would look pretty. Um, but they're quite dark. Both of them are quite dark. And then I thought to lighten it, I might put some interference silver in. So we'll see what it looks like before I go adding anything else. Big scoop. Now, with your mica powders, you do need to mix them really, really well. Like so. I don't think that's quite opaque enough, but it is quite dark. So, let's have a look. Let's pop the lid back on that one. We'll see what a little bit of the silver is going to do. A little bit of that. I don't know. Because I've got silver stones in there. Look, I don't know what this is going to do. I have no idea. And I don't even know if it's going to make pretty striations because the two colours are quite dark. But I just know that if I put a really light colour in there, I'm not going to see the white petals on the white background or a light background. Excuse the dogs, my son and daughter-in-law and grandson have just arrived for a Sunday afternoon a visit. Okay, hopefully that's mixed in properly. It's a good idea to let it sit just for a minute. Because if you've got any little bits of uh, mica powder that have sort of floated to the top, you'll be able to mix them back in again. It's looking quite nice. I have no idea what it's going to look like. I don't know. I don't know. It's a bit of an experiment. Okay. And I hope my stones are in the right place on the other side. <laughs> but um, I can fix it. If they're, if they're not, I can fix it. I've done that before. I was a bit worried because it was getting sticky. The resin was getting quite sticky and... I'm a bit concerned that my stones aren't in the right spot. All right, so now I haven't got too much room in this mould left. So let's do that. And then I'm going to make it even there. And hopefully there's room for this one. Let's pour this one in as well. Woo! Don't overflow, don't overflow, oh my gosh. Okay, that's about all I can do. <laughs> I've still got some left. Look. All right, so basically that's it. Hopefully there's enough in there, hopefully, to make a pretty pattern. Push it to the limits. <laughs> Push it to the limits. There we go. I'm <laughs> just watching what it's doing once it's spread out. I don't mind if it domes a little bit. So basically that's it. All right, so now I'm going to leave it. And um, I'm hoping that, you know, the, the mica powder will sort of go underneath and then the ink will come over the top and, and make those gorgeous striations. But we won't know until, until later. So I'll we'll leave it at that. Hopefully it works. <laughs> if not, we'll have a nice black edge anyway. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wish me luck. See you soon. Okay guys, it's ready. I've just taken it out of my curing machine and this is what the back's looking like. <laughs> I have no idea. Look, we've got little bits of feathering going around the edge there. We've got a little bit in the middle. I don't know. Let's get it out and have a look anyway, hey? Let's have a little look. I'm more curious to see what my bloom's going to look like. I'm a little bit concerned that if I've made it too... Um, transparent how do I get this out like that oh, okay there we go it comes out all right oh my gosh I got some little holes I guess I should have <laughs> maybe um, gone around with my little silicon tool and got the bubbles out from the edges <laughs> yep probably should have done that uh, next time next time all right here we go I'll, I'll do it again. I'll, I'll do it again. Hopefully it's better next time. Okay. Are we ready? Oh, hang on. I'm turning it the wrong way. I'm going to turn it this way, don't I? Oh, for gosh. All right. Here we go. Let's have a look. See what it looks like. Oh, wow. 
That looks so cool. I wasn't expecting that. Look at that, you guys. Oh, that's so pretty. Got a couple of little holes on the edge there, but look, next time, remind me um, to, to um, go around the edge with my little tool. It's where the um, it's where the stones are. It's like got a bubble court where the stone is. I, I don't even think it needs that, the stones, you know. What do you think? Look at, look at through there. You can see through there. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm loving that background. It's just dark enough without being too dark. Oh, I'm so glad it's worked out. What's that? Oh, it's a hair. That's all right. It's a hair. All right, now, um, got a couple of little stones there that are out of, out of whack. My blooms look really pretty. They don't look like traditional, like, rounded flower blooms at all. They're you know, spiky-ish, which is really pretty. Um, I guess if I'd made them a little bit more opaque, they would have maybe stayed a little bit more rounded. Now, I am going to get my silver pen and I'm going to just see if I can tidy the centre up a little bit. So I've got this one. This is a chrome marker. Depending on the colour of your silver, now there's also the Deco colour. This one's got a little bit of a point on it. I'm just going to see. Like, it's easy to wipe off, you know, if um, if you want to wipe it off. I'm just going to see what it looks like. If I just add... I'm just going to add a couple. I'm going to try and make them sort of the same kind of shapes. Just because... <laughs> <laughs> just because it was out of shape okay you know what I mean like so actually I'll just I'll pick it up and then um, you can see what I'm doing so like because that one was right way out of out of the center this color is actually matching quite nicely and if you're not happy with it just wipe it off Put a couple more on. So I'm trying to make them kind of jagged. Oops. You can wipe it off. <laughs> Let's get a little bit of alcohol on my finger and get that one off. There we go. So it matches really nicely. Like you can't see which ones are stone and which ones are not stone. I'll put a couple in the middle there as well. So just making them kind of jagged. You can see what I mean. This one as well. Look, you don't have to do this. I'm just probably being a little bit pedantic. But, um, you know, if you are really loving it and you just think, oh, I wish those stones were a little bit more centred, then by all means, just change it up a little bit. This one's still bugging me. I wish I could take those out, but I can't. I mean, if, if you wanted to, you could drill them out take them out physically take them out and put a clear coat on if you wanted to um, you know I'm not I'm not going to it's my first attempt at this little mold here so I'm just going to deal with it put a couple more little pieces in like so And maybe this one down here, just to kind of match what was going on on the other side there. There we go. <laughs> See? Things can be fixed. They can be fixed. <laughs> like so. Yeah, I I'm, don't think I need to have this. I think in there, all that stuff going on is enough. I don't think we needed to have the, the glass on the edge there. But, um, yeah, it's really pretty. <gasps> It's so cute. It's only a little tiny trinket bowl. All right. So there we go. Hope you've enjoyed that little video. But uh, yeah, definitely. Do it again. Take that silver off. Don't need that. This is more. And, um, you know, the problem with having the stones is not having it centered. That's why we tend to just do a little swirl and leave it because... You know, it's going to be centered. It's going to stay where it is, but the stones move. But anyway, 
um, hope you've enjoyed my little video. It was fun to do. I'll just bring you over here away from those bright lights for a minute. Get away, you big light. Gosh. I usually have my other hand holding it. <laughs> I feel uncoordinated holding it in this hand. Oh, gosh. There it is. All right. It looks really quite navy down there, doesn't it? I guess it's the black and the um, purpley, bluey mica powder that I've used is making it look that colour. But if you have a look in the middle of the bloom, you can see a tiny little bit of the, the blueberry shining through. Lost most of it. We can basically see the pale purple there. So that little bit of blue in the middle matches the, um, the blue background. So I think that looks really pretty. I'll go back over here. All right. All right, doggies. As soon as I say all right, that sets them off. They know, they know. I'm going to go and feed their dinner. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all again real soon for the next one. Take care. Bye for now.